What's up guys, this is the Broferman and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the 13 Colonies. So to round off our last time, the French declared war on us, opening up our eastern flank towards Paris to further attack. But we are blitzkrieging towards Spain very rapidly, so this shouldn't take too long for the odds to tip into our favour. However, fortunately, these three forces moving around to the southeast of Paris have become have come in range of Amadeus Crisp holding the bridge. So this is an excellent opportunity to eviscerate these pretty dilapidated French armies, to be honest. Not many of their troops are actually in good nick. Razars are all in tip-top shape. So let's do it. It was... Um, and instead of running around and raiding and being... Because you have forces laying siege to Morocco and Lisbon, so that's probably about 90% of the Spanish fighting power. Well, Spanish economy, Spanish civilization uh, under under siege. They have some forces to the I don't think it's going to be a serious, serious problem. Okay, so here's one Ford. And have we got a Brugge? We do have a bridge. So let's drop off four units of infantry to cover the bridge, just in case. The AI, the AI never really seems to care about the bridge that much. Um, so I'm not going to deploy too many troops there. I want artillery just to keep. I want artillery to, f to get a good position to fire at the French troops, but also to attack the, the Ford. Let's probably why my howitzer is going to be in a similar sort of position. And then the rest of the army is going to be deployed here, ready to form a lovely kill box around there. And these fusiliers. And let's put the first Philadelphia City Cav on this flank and the Dreadnoughts. Do you want to put them all here? And Mr. Crisp. Oh, nudge, nuts, 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 nuts. We have enemies on the flank. Where cavalry? You're, no, you're against cavalry, so you got to run. Okay, you guys all fire well off into the rear. Attack the general's bodyguard. Then the other formation. Yes, yeah, so these guys are more or less just here, just in case the French decided to try their luck over the bridge. Fire well off so we don't. Massacre General's Bodyguard. And let's get this infantry up to the side of the map here. Ready to form a kill box around that entry point. And it looks like these guys might actually have some enemies. And they're all cavalry. No, oh, no, there's a company of light infantry as well. Our terrorists are having a right old time. Yeah, the horse grenade guards are probably gonna try to duke it out. Let's do fire right off. Send in the cavalry. I mean, we're killing some of our own men in the charge. God damn friendly fire. It's a lot of friendly fire actually. So you want something like this. I mean fight will is off at the minute, so that's not not gonna get too many shenanigans. Then on the bridge. Oh, 
They're starting to cross. Save the light horse. Yeah. All form square. Come on, the hope is if we can get a good kill box on this. Yeah, they're going to get some shots off, but they're just going to bump into one of the squares and then they will attack. Drawn like moths to the flame. Let's don't fire what we'll offer them. But I want. Okay. I want to get this box ready so I can turn on fire at will. Here, and instead, watch the crossing here. So artillery set to carcass shot to drop. There. One artillery piece just to keep pounding the position. Another gun to. Actually, their artillery looks like it's gone, so it's set them to attack the Gilvie Regiment. So you've got more French cavalry. Good. We can focus on the main effort. So they are just going to stand back and actually engage. Oh, excellent artillery shots there. So they're all going to rout again. I'll say again. The first time the bulk of them actually routed, I think. Another unit of cavalry is coming in on the field. Quickly check that. General's bodyguard this time. Two General's bodyguards. Let's drop them both, all of them into square. Some lovely carcass shot going in there. Western European mercenaries are going. Bouncing artillery rounds are doing an excellent job. Not very necessary to to do much here. We'll all just fire. That'll knock out the cavalry easy enough. Fusiliers are here. The further they advance, the more they come into range of other units. Grenadier guards coming in. Quickly hop back to here. Oh, they fell out of square formation. Let's go in after the horse artillery. Just to stop them from breaking out. Let's get people to line infantry. Okay, the crossing. Too bad. It's good that some of them are coming back. Okay, let's get these guys across the river. Good. Now it's the infantry battle. Ooh, the Swiss Guard getting shot to bits. They're trying to bayonet charge, but they're tired. There goes their, sta there goes their standard. Yeah, 188 men down to 26. Some more Swiss guards. So this unit's particularly aimed at the light horse. Advancing in close range. Oh, it's getting slaughtered. Not 
a lot they can do there. Okay, so let's commit my cavalry. <laughs> Them in square, them in square. These guys keep firing. Let's bring up our reserves from over here. Let's go support this attack. Put you into line, because now the general's moved on. Yeah, because the effort here seems largely defeated. Ah, they're coming to interfere with my crossing of the bridge. No, where are you going? You dummies. Well, you guys both just hunker down in square. You guys get to the other end of the bridge to make sure they didn't cross it. run these guys over. Let's run the cavalry away. Okay, let's form. Let's form a second battle line. Take out the Swiss line infantry, there's only three of them. This crossing is broken. Let's change the target for my howitzers. The gendarmerie are broken. They're running away and not coming back. Let's run my cavalry, my infantry, but I doubt they'll make it. Nope, they have routed, sadly. But that leaves the field open for this block of troops to now just get slaughtered. Haha, -ha, you devils. Eh, charging the mercenaries. Ooh, garrison guards go on, get some lovely flank shots into them. They can be very upset at that. Ooh, maybe not into the foot guards. Comes the carcass shot. Fighting. Yeah, finish this mess and he's off. Smash! So that's Swiss Guard. Think you're tough? You're not so tough. There's the militia. Come on, it's one unit, one guy, one Western European mercenary. Good, I'll get you guys back here to smash into that unit of militia. General, charge into them. The artillery's been defeated. Let's end the battle there, that's quite a nice. Quite a nice compact little victory there. Rather nicely neuter these French forces for the loss of only 
Nightmare. Only a thousand of my own men. So let's push the main stack back and these fractional ones. Yep, they've had to go trundling back to the east. From whence they came. Ooh! And the French are attacking us at Caracas, which should be okay. Actually, they've just got lots of old militia. Not fully trained. <laughs> Attrited militia and buccaneers. So even though we are... Even though we are... Um, we've got some attrition problems in our force. Our well, quality... That's what happens when the AI recruits in a... In a um, colonial, in a colonial city. Okay, let's put a set of guns either side of the house. It does limit their firepower somewhat, but I think it's, this is a cool little central point. Let's put the rangers in there, even though they can't all get in. And let's create our battle lines, which may extend out. Well, when they will extend out, I should say. This wing, in fact, will actually advance up and out in front of the city. Cover on the right, go exploring. Archers on the left to go have a look in the trees. Militia reserved, keep an eye on the cavalry, on the artillery, sorry. General in the centre somewhat. So go here and then out and run and you guys go out and god there goes the general he didn't want to stick around let's get my cavalry to start moving yeah I might put my militia there not many of them get to fire but some is better than none. And I mean, to be honest, lots of these guys aren't going to actually get used. If I continue on like this, I'm probably going to want to do that. It's focusing on the central positions are okay, because these, this, uh, these cannons haven't got too much in the way of support. So let's send up, push up this wing of infantry. Native bowmen get inside into the into the woods. One square of them. Don't expect them to stick around for very long because the general's dead already. Yeah, there we go. Good. Let's switch to canister shot as they get within range. Superior, superior musketry will be of no match to that. Got there only a hundred militiamen in that unit. There we go. My bows are firing. colonial dragoons were ready to jump onto that unit of militia. This wing, entire wing, is breaking. Let's pick my dragoons to doubt that unit of militia is going to stick around for very long. Let's run my general. So they go after that colonial unit. Clear them up. No, you actually do want to stay back. Or at least stay in in range of support from the following line from tree. My dragoons are now in a good spot to have clear rain on lots of escaping troops. Take 
Take him out. Take out Lambalicia. Because this army will need to be chased down and eradicated. Ah, one unit's running and they're not. But I'm not going to go send. I've only got two precious cavalry units. I'm not going to send them over here to take them out. I'm going to send them towards the mass in the centre. Come on, there's one militiaman. Good, go, 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 go. It's a round shot into the militia. Yeah, and they've broken. Absolutely, I want to continue, but this is going to be a high speed finish. Because my cavalry aren't going to be suitably committed to destroy everyone on the map. Well, I mean, they had a good job at killing that militia unit. There's ten men there. Well, I'll try to go for them then if they're going to be, if they're going to be tricky. Oh, had a good crack at that. Oh no, there you go, they've come back. Can you go at them? General go after them. So my dragoons, oh, the dragoons have done a done a pretty decent job of clearing up. And there's no one to clear up except for the last units by the dragoons. Damn right it was decisive victory. Some colonies. Look at that, we lost 88 men, they lost almost half their army. Sorry, Pierre. See you later. They're trying to steal my secrets again. Classic French. Hey, and the Spanish garrison of Madrid's coming out. God, this is all about the the defensive actions in this part. They would send an army to intercept me. It just didn't happen. Or they would send an army to relieve Madrid. Did happen. Hmm. Somewhat. Surprising, because usually the AI is, well, it usually likes to make a bit more of an effort to protect its capital. Okay, funky terrain. Come on, Andrew. Deploy your troops. Deploy a Hessian line. And let's get the, the Worcester Regiment involved. This army's campaigned all across the all across the map for me. I mean, this is probably a pretty bad spot for artillery. Yeah, it is. To be honest, the only the only way to get use of artillery is to pretty much pull the. Even then, that's I mean, that's the best hill. I think realistically all I can do is something no I think I think these guys just aren't getting used they're just holding back how it's as well which means we can use these Marines and infantry to cover the flank um hmm so the Rangers on the extreme flank with not trenches. No, you want, I want them to have trenches. I want these guys to have spikes. You guys have been deployed. Drop a cavalry unit on each flank. General in the middle. Done. How's this far? Aim for the guns in the centre? I don't know. None of them worked. Let's speed up time a minute. Uh, let's 
get our howitzers to target the, this cavalry. And actually, no, get them to pick at this Spanish foot. Infanteria de Marina. They're marines. Not so bothered about them, because so, the infantry unit is so small. Oh, we got a good collateral damage here there. So they're actually just going to blow... Well, it's not going to destroy their own wall, it's just going to hit the gatehouse. Trouble is, it's tempting to just attack the fort, but if I attack the fort, even if I capture it, and like for all intents and purposes, take it, it doesn't count as a win on the campaign map. They're all... Oh, they're waiting for this provincial line and all this other nonsense to get into position. Tercio pikemen. Well, they look cool. They do look really nice. Too bad they're gonna die. Huh, imagine being the officer in this unit and you're wearing that. And the guys next to you are wearing the cool looking outfits. Militia, armed citizenry, lion, lion. Carabiners. So we took 50 men out of this unit of infantry. There's some hidden units here. Probably banditos or something like that. So, waiting for these guys to get in position. So this flank's a bit... Not outnumbered, but... Enough that I might want to do that. Let's bring my sort of skirmishes over. Oh, don't tell me you're just going to reorganise. Right, that's it. You know what? Screw the defences. Coming after you. At least some of us are. Ooh, banderillos. So let's get my... Okay, four units of line infantry are enough to ruin lots of people's days. Let's get my cavalry out. They'll sweep these guys out very easily. There we go. Fight. They've that's provoked them into action, and they now want a piece of the uh, piece of the action on the flank. So let's get my rangers in here to occupy the trenches. In for carabiners. So I'm not worried about. I'm not worried about the cavalry coming, because I can just form square and it's no, it's no real drama. Got some good shots on the cannons. Yeah, I'd retreat too if I were here. Go, go, provincial cav! March two infantry units up to support them. Push two up here to provide a bit of a wedge. Let's retarget my foot artillery to the Tercio pikemen. Well, yeah, that's them dealt with. Hey, they're sending artillery out as well. Okay, let's commit this infantry into the melee fight. Because they're about to massacre the shotgunners, the artillery's dead. Aha, they got my infantry here. the old pikeman. Deploy my cavalry straight through the gap. Ok, 
Okay, let's get my cavalry out of there. Get him into this melee. I mean, both of you attack that square position. Both of you guys swarm the line infantry. Engage the carabiners. Cast shot the infantry. It's not very long to beat the carabiners. The Spanish are retreating here on all fronts. The provincial line infantry is probably going to die. It's being surrounded by my men. Good stuff. Enemy general is dead. Our rangers are doing actually a good job against the marines. Okay. So let's do that skirmishing. Chaps for up, oh, ready to pull musket fire into the West European mercenaries. I mean, you guys chase after the Tercio pikemen. Keep firing. Let's go fire his round shot into the foot artillery, which might be a bit annoying. What if you kill them? There we go, so you form up to engage the mercenaries. You run up to this hill to secure it. You guys better charge the horse artillery. Let's get Andy Hamilton into the mix. Speed up time, because right now the only thing that's going to happen is we're going to kill some cavalry or gun teams. Ah, some f they've actually they've decided to reform. Lost a lot more men than I needed to because of this like push on the flank, but you know what it keeps things interesting. Sometimes the best defeats, the best victories, the best games are the ones that have been a bloody fight. Sometimes you don't need to optimize everything. Things, are, fun things can just be fun. Although <laughs> that's the garrison shattered. Um. Let's continue it, just because this is a garrison after all. This is a garrison and people can still... We may as well have a chance to kill the garrison outside of the walls. There we go. Seven units of garrison line. Let's hold them. Oh, it's a fire. Chase after them. Halt the gun teams because they're doing some friendly fire nonsense. I mean, just stay out of the way if they're going to be silly. No, don't not you. You keep attacking the mercenaries. You. Now, you also attack the mercenaries, of which there is only four, wherever they are. Two, that's them. Decisive victory. You're goddamn right. Thirteen colonies men. Than I would have liked. I mean, it's still a pretty good, <laughs> good result. <laughs> ah! The Spanish are coming. They've stopped my attempt to knock down the university. The Poles are still on the way. Of which we are now at war with them. So 
That's another thing we must be aware of. But this is where the Blitzkrieg on. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Defense time, defense time. I mean, yeah, this should be okay. Especially as they're all... Because they've got this habit of sending in one army, one unit at a time. Uh, it gives us the opportunity to massacre their units, like, individually. So rather than one wave hitting the city, it's like a unit after a unit after a unit after a unit after a unit, which are much easier to chop up. Um, but, looking at the timer, I believe that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for The Defence of Zagreb. Cheers, everyone.